A turn of a key and a much needed link to remote Yemeni villages whirs into life. An odd assortment of lashed together wheels, spindles and bits of metal sends this fragile looking basket trundling towards the sky on cables 1,200 meters long. We devised this cable car because we saw people suffering in remote and hard to reach areas. I've been thinking about this since I was a child, and now it's a reality. It was very difficult to raise money for it, but we managed to get donations and collected some of the parts we needed. Villages like Bani Harazi huddle together in the mountain mist. They seem far from the war between Houthi rebels and supporters of the internationally recognized government of President Abdrabun Mansour Khadi. But the conflict has taken its toll. We mainly transport basic life necessities from flour to sugar, rice and oil. We also transport building materials like cement, steel and all key materials and necessities of life. War has deeply impacted our lives. It's beyond description. In the past, the only way to carry goods up to the villages was on foot or by donkey. Some roads were built, but a sack of flour the size of a large suitcase would still cost around $8 to transport, and it could take four hours to get there. When the cable car was built, the price dropped. It now costs about a dollar to carry up a bag of flour, and it's a lot quicker. But the loads are small. We need more help from foreign countries and aid organizations to allow us to design and build bigger and stronger cable cars, which can carry more. This feat of engineering may seem simple, but for the people of these Yemeni mountain villages, for whom every dollar matters, it's a lifeline. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.